And a whopper motor. Here's another whopper motor. Here's another whopper motor. I drove at 80 Buick Park Avenue. I know all about wedging the doors up. Don't need the seat foam, Rocky. That door sounds good, doesn't it? Been a couple weeks since we started this thing. Let's see if she'll run again. Of course you will, it's a slant of six. We have no brakes. Come on, come on girl. No problem at all. She was smoking a little bit there at first. It's so nasty inside and full of parts. We honestly, there might be some parts in there we need because it's full of stuff, isn't it, Ralphie? Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and start cleaning this thing up. First off, we're going to have to clean a bunch of junk out of this. Now, if you didn't see the last video on this car, it's a 65 Dodge Dart two-door. Uh, it's got the 225 cleaning tower of power under here. It took us 43 attempts to get it to run. We had to end up hooking it up to 24 volt system before it finally ran. It had like 25, 30 pounds of compression on two of the back cylinders, but hey, they came around once she ran. Don't worry about that. It's running strong now. It probably, I'd, I'd say it probably pull a house right now. It's got the three on the tree, whatever, three speed on the column manual, which is always fun. You really don't see those kind of vehicles much anymore. I really like the car. It's a little rough, especially this fender right here is really rough. And we know we know the back floor pans are going to have to need to be replaced on it in the back seat area. But I guess let's go ahead and start cleaning this thing out, huh? Yeah. Get the junk out of it. Why don't you get your uh, tractor and trailer over here, and then we'll put it in the back of the trailer. What? Your oh. tractor and trailer. We're going to do a walk around this thing real quick. So you can see it's a little bit dirty there. Got a little bit of rust on the bottom of the hood. Uh, but 225 inline six, one barrel, just, you know, your average poverty Dodge Dart here. Manual brakes that don't work. We did put fluid in them. They still don't work. But, uh, you know, that needs to be reattached. Nothing to worry about. I love the, the Dodge emblem here. But... Let's walk around here and show you what kind of shape it's in. Somebody stole the grease caps off there, Ralphie. I don't know what this is, but I guess it's not gonna be in there anymore. You got our adjustable. Yeah, adjustable carpet from the exterior. That was actually an option in 65. Yep. But uh, got some, you know, got some mold and mildew on it. But it's, it'll be kind of interesting to see what it looks like because the Savoy looked terrible like this and it actually cleaned up pretty good, but. Uh, anyway, the whole trunk is full of stuff. I'll open it in just a second. Got a little bit of rust right there on the trunk. And got a whiskey dent right here. They got a little whiskey in them and put a dent in there. But, you know, that happens. Uh, this door glass is broke out, unfortunately. But you can see what kind of shape the carpet and stuff is in. Oddly, it looks like it has a rubber floor mat on, on top of carpet. I don't know why that is doesn't really look like it's matte. It looks like it's the whole floor is a rubber floor, but this seat looks like it's probably pretty rough under there, but we'll find out. Got to get a windshield for it too. All kinds of parts in this thing. Let's get the trunk open where you can see what's in the trunk. This fender is the worst part of the whole car though. Look at that, man. I can almost see the air in that casing. So all kinds of stuff back here. We've looked around a little bit. We've actually in the will it start video we got a starter out of here but it was no good probably should have tested it first you guys told me that but a little bit of rust right there but you know nothing a little aluminum tape and some great stuff foam wouldn't fix that's all you really need i don't know what that car is for that may come off that may have come off a of super six it kind of looks like the one that was on the savoy huh yeah. 
Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. Get the hoops, and if you want to put the smaller stuff in your trailer, I can't believe that the brakes even freed up enough for us to even be able to move it. It's like uh, surprising to me that the brakes actually freed up. Usually, we got to spend forever beating the drum on or using a puller. These are for a slant six here. Brake lining. Yeah. All kinds of belts. We might have to have us a yard sale or go to the swap meet. There's a Pontiac rally wheel. Another hoop for a dart here. Here's a, a points and condenser we can use. Wawa's out here now. Oh, sorry, bud. I didn't mean to hit your hip bone. This one's a 14 for a dart, which I believe is what is on the car. And these two are 13s. Ah, oh, you gotta love the poverty caps. So we got a full set of these style caps, which uh, appear to be for a dart. And there, this is this is like the one that's on the car, right? Yeah, that's the same as that one. Right there. Alternator. Master cylinder, headlight trim ring. Brake springs and stuff are in here. Is this shocks over there or something? Yeah, shocks. Here's some. There's a front drum and a rear drum for this thing. Oh, there's another cap up in the front. Turn all that. Oh, that's different, isn't it? Yeah. That's, that's different than the other one. Yeah. That is free. Yeah, there's basically a whole parts store in this car. Yeah. There's some wheel bearings. The trunk's actually pretty big after you get it all cleaned out. Uh, there's a hood emblem, I guess it is. Wheel cylinder. Most of this right here is going to be junk, though. Now, these brackets right here are usable for sure. We definitely need to keep them. Now, these things have left-hand lug nuts on the left side and right hand ones on the right side. I don't know who thought that was a good idea. These little white things running around. What are they? Ooh, they're fast. All right, let's, let's get the stuff out of the back seat. We'll get let the vacuum get the rest of this. We got a steering column, I see. I can't believe the amount of parts that's in this thing. And so we got different caps here. One, two, three. Some of you guys that are pros will tell me what these are off of. Some beauty rings. Now, does these match? They don't match any of them, do they? <laughs> There's a full set. One full set here. One full set here. And we have one, two. Oh, yeah, we just have two of those. Now, what are these? This isn't off this car at all. This is way too long. I don't know what that's off of. I don't see anything on it. The scuff plate's off something a lot longer. Okay, let's see what's in our box here. I love the pattern on that back seat. That's pretty cool. Big gulp from the crystal. Some hoses we're not going to use. Distributor cap. A head pop from the boss. Headlight bucket. Armrest. Fuel pump. Looks like the adapter for the oil filter. Looks like a bunch of body bolts that fit this car. Headlight bezel. This looks like some sort of window trim piece. I don't know what that is. Tell me what that is. That's about all. I think the only thing left in here is asbestos. Here's a horn and a wiper motor. Here's another wiper motor. Here we got a whole wiring harness. Oh, wow. Here's another wiper motor. Oh, wow. Here's a, what appears to be a complete wiring harness, probably. Okay. An armrest. I might as well just pull this headliner down. I think I got a mask on. Yeah. All right, let's get our our rear floor mat. It's, it's about to become a ground mat now, rather than a floor. Is that say Continental? Constellation. Constellation. Man, look at that. How crazy is that? It's, it's kind of neat. Now. Got some shag carpet. Here's another super fancy floor mat. Yeah, I figured the seat was bad. It looked like it was sunk in pretty bad there. What is this? 
What is that? Somebody's clothes is shoved up in there. That's like the, the vent when you're driving. Here's your seat belts for safety's sake. We have another floor mat here. What's that one? Does it say anything on it? That's a Thunderbird. It's got a Thunderbird floor mat in it. Man, all this stuff right here, this rubber mat. Look at that. Feel that, Wawa, how easy that breaks. What in the world? Yep. We're gonna let the vacuum get that. Just shatters. I don't understand why this rubber floor mat. I would have thought this would have been on the bottom. And it looks like it's been put on top of this shag carpet that somebody put in. I just don't know how this got on top of it. I mean, this is what sitting outside for 30 years does to you, though. I mean, it's crazy how hard it is on a car just let it get parked like that well i don't think there's much saving this door panel here i hate to do this but i mean it's not really doing anything anymore it definitely doesn't look very good either there you go Everything had an ashtray back then. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's so rotted out from this window being broke out. Well, the wife was pointing out that this looks like glass, but it's actually, it feels like it's plexiglass. So at some point, somebody tried to patch this up to keep it from getting rained in. It fell down in the door, it looks like. We just thought we didn't have a window for it. Cut it a little shot here. I guess that's better than nothing though, huh? I drove at 80 Butte Park Avenue. I know all about wedging the doors up like that. Wawa loves to break this stuff right here. It's just satisfying, isn't it? Yes, I like I like breaking it. It's awesome, isn't it? It's so brittle. Here, you wanna step on it? Yes, I wanna step on it. Oh Woo! my gosh. So weird. That's crazy. Well, it used to be soft rubber back in the day. Same story here with this door panel. It's just garbage. This thing would make a cool drag car, you know? A two-door lightweight car like this with like a 440 or a Hemi or something. Or even a 360. That would be cool. This door over here is refusing to open. I'll let the vacuum get the rest of that stuff that's in there too. Oh, yeah. It's kind of cool, isn't it? If that one had a crank on it, it probably would. So I'm going to go ahead and spray PB Blaster in here on the latch while we can get to it. Maybe it'll soak in and we can get this thing to come loose and get this door open. What do you think about it, Rocky? It's pretty dirty, isn't it? You can check it out. You know the deal. I'm gonna do the same thing to this latch too. Get some PB Blaster up in there. It can't hurt, right? That and Vania juice will fix anything. What are you doing? Oh. If you guys ever wonder why he's always around, well, he basically acts like a dog. Cause we bottle fed him from a baby. We got him when he was three days old. So he's more comfortable around people than he is goats. He's just over a year old now, and he's had four children now. He's got four babies. We'll have to go show you them. So just to catch you up, this is Pebbles. This is his oldest daughter here. She's a few months old now. And this is his twins that are recently born. So this one's a girl here, and this one's a boy. And we haven't, we haven't named them yet. So we gotta come up with a name. If you guys wanna vote for a name, you can vote in the comment. <laughs> and this is his youngest baby here. We haven't named her either yet, but she's a solid white. She somehow turned out solid white. You had taken these off, remember, to air air the casings up when we first drove it? So we do have a full set of these. So we got full set of these, full set of these, full set of those. So we should be hooked up. And I think the Dart has a full set of poverty caps, the other one. 
the 64 yeah. wagon. If you haven't seen the 64 dart wagon video, you might want to check it out. It was a 170 slant six push button automatic car we got running recently. And we got to get some brakes on it and get it cleaned up too. I guess I'm going to get the vacuum out here and start vacuuming this out. You might want to back up a little bit because it's probably going to be some nasty stuff coming out of that vacuum. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> And that was very satisfying vacuuming that up out of there uh and actually it's it's not as rusty as i thought it would be under there there's not really any holes in here that i found aside from maybe just a little bit right there from the water coming in but surprise me surprise you honey has me it's probably a good thing that all these plugs were out especially those right there that's probably the gas tank i'd say but that probably helped it from getting rusted out getting full of water because this gasket's not really any good at all <laughs> Not too much uh, real loose stuff here we had to vacuum out, but we're, we're gonna come back and put some super clean degreaser on this and pressure wash this out here in a little bit. All right, let's take a look at this passenger door and see if we can get it freed up here. Hit the outside door button, honey. So that's what it's supposed to be doing there. Well, we've been fiddling with this thing now for like 30 minutes. She's pretty sure the answer is to spray PB Blaster <laughs> in the crack. Uh, but we've tried to work with the mechanism. It's really seized up. So we're gonna let it sit some more and get the vacuuming again. <laughs>
Okay, there's a big chunk gone. Big chunk gone on the floor. All right, there's our emergency brake cable. Hey, that's like a trolley car. You want to stop, just pull that right there and you're stopped, kids. There's a snail. He must not have got to his stop yet. I love the pattern on this back seat. Uh, I had a couple Novas when I was a kid and uh, they had patterns similar to that. I just love the 60s interior like this. Kinda can't believe how good the shape this back seat's in considering how bad the floor is in right here. It's kinda weird that this isn't, uh, you know, all ripped up and rotten. That's actually still pliable, this part. It must not have got as much sun damage as the others. There we go. Now we can see what we're working with. At least we've still got a drive shaft trans tunnel here. I think that's our fuel line right there that we're seeing that, so that should be easy to maintenance. What is this? Oh, quick flat fix. Looks like it feels like it's already been used, so she must have been leaking some transmission fluid or something. So it looks like the bottom of the driver's seat here is packed with nuts. I guess we had a squirrel in here or something at one point. Living the good life. You know, some people might look at it as a downside having a driver's seat in this bad condition, but look how much easier it is to see when you're done vacuuming. And just think, you'd never lose any pocket change again. Kick panel is good for anything anymore. All right, we got some more tools. That's awesome. Shoot, we can pawn that right there. Half inch and seven sixteenths. What are you doing? Scraper, keep that. We got a pen. I'll have the wife clean that up for me. Well, I think we got about as much vacuum down as we're gonna vacuum out. That's a good place to keep your uh, maintenance records riveted to the glove box door. You'll never lose them there. I can't believe how plush this carpet is once we got it cleaned up. It's really nice. It's kind of surprising to me how the gauges are still in decent shape considering how rough this interior is. Look how nice those gauges are still. 
says it has 28,000 miles. I'm sure it's, you know, 128 or 228 following the salt truck in the winter. I forgot about the glass in the door. how much stuff came out of this car like i i can't even imagine how many hundreds and hundreds of pounds was in this car it's so much lighter now with all this stuff taken out and look at all that too i mean this thing right here probably weighs 20 30 pounds worth of stuff i vacuumed out of the floors and i'd like for us all to take a moment of silence for all this dewalt vacuum has been through thank you aren't you supposed to be working bro just hanging out on the scrambler. Yeah. We got a lot more room back here now, don't we? Man, that carpet looks nice out of it. Yeah. You made me do all the work. Yeah. What do you think about our rear floor pans? I love this. I would actually like this. Yeah, you could, we don't really need to do the brakes now. Yeah. Just put Woo! good shoes on. Yeah. That's your trolley stop. You pull that to stop. What? Yeah, it's your emergency brake cable. If you want to stop, you ain't even gonna ask the driver. Just think, you wouldn't even have to pull over to spit tobacco or nothing. Man, I wish they still made cars like this. You know, like small cars that you could have got a decent size engine in and had room for the whole family. They just don't have that anymore. Right, Rocky? Everything that'll, that'll haul five people now is like a size of a city bus, you know? Rocky's gonna do the final touches here on cleaning the interior out for us. I must have missed something he didn't approve of. Yeah. Don't need the seat foam, Rocky. No, no, see? He, he drops that stuff. Don't worry about him. Good boy. Come on. Good job. All right, well, it's super clean time. Time to oh, sauce this thing up. As usual, you want to stay away from your distributor cap or if you get too much moisture in there, oh. she won't run. Oh, wow. Oh, we got a dirt dauber's nest back there on the firewall. I feel like this is going to look like way better. This one looks brand new. Yeah. I'll do an overcoat on what you do. This thing would be awesome with like a light model Hemi in it or a 360. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Take it to a Mopar fast.
is actually really incredible. I did not expect that to clean up that nice over here. Man, I wish the whole car looked like that. I'm a sucker for a blue car. Everything we end up painting around here ends up blue. You can see where the battery acid and brake fluid has done its work over the years. Don't worry about the master cylinder lid taking off because we didn't have any brakes anyway. But man, the orange came out nice on the engine too. It really surprised me how good the Super Clean did on that. I thought you would like it. I mean, you like the same colors yeah, like the on cars. Color. That would look really good on the outside again with that. Yeah. Gotta clean up your casings. You don't want to. The casings and hoops looking bad. Make sure I get everything. We're gonna have to get us some new ones pretty soon when we do the brakes on this thing. We're gonna wash Dad's initials off this wheel. He'll never know which one it was. <laughs>
use this thing? Like, what are you supposed to do? We just want to put gas in the pressure washer. What was wrong with gas nozzles that worked? Huh, Granny? You remember them. You were there. I think maybe now I've got it with Rocky's help. So stupid. They should have never went away from the old ones. Oh, this still don't work. Oh, at least it... Okay, I give up. I guess that's how you're supposed to use them. I love how blue it is underneath all that. Huh? It looks a lot better. I wonder if the other side will look good. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? I think we're finally done using the pressure washer, so. What do you think, Ralphie? It looks like it was a light blue, and then it got repainted a dark blue. What about the brown? I really, well, that's just the primer that's, that where the paint's I'm really surprised the original gas cap is here. So I know like from my Nova's that it's not easy to find an original gas cap, but, you know, got a little whiskey dip. Somebody has ran a screw in it and tried to pull it out. So we still got some spots here and there. Uh, we're gonna spray this thing down with bleach now and uh, wash it with a Dawn dishwashing liquid and a brush and try to get so many spots and streaks off of it. If you got a moldy car, it's the best to go over it with bleach, really. Are you the certified bleach sprayer? Yeah. I mean, I'm not getting on you. He has got it on me before. I love these little cars like this from the 60s. Oh, yeah. Like the Darts, Falcons, Novas. I'm a fan of all of them. I wonder why they didn't just get take the trim off and get behind and push that out. They're running a screw in the middle of it. We got some Dawn dishwashing liquid down in here and some water. You know, the way Papa did it. Maybe let's take the spots off of it. Rafi, what'd you do to your hair? Oh. Oh, 
from the top and don't let the tongue drop. brown water and this is the old casing scar right there that's what that is hey pebble what are you doing huh trying to stay away from ellie it's a blue water for a blue come on there so all down through here, looks like washer fluid came off it. Well, the last thing we're going to do is go ahead and clean the glass and dash and stuff like that um, before we're completely done with this. Here, you get in the back seat, Rocky. You're gonna, oh, you're I'm not. telling Rocky, go ahead, get in there. Something poked me. I wonder like, why. I can't imagine what. We actually got real glass cleaner for this video. You gotta clean your plexiglass side with those, you know. You don't want them to get dirty. What, what are you sneezing about? Let me get over there. Watch out, Rocky. I love the old metal trim. It's painted on these. It's so cool. What do you mean I like a lot of weird things? You like weird cars. What are you doing? Like Trimming your hoofs? Other things. I do like weird cars, that's for sure. But Rocky likes them too. Yeah. Let's see how good the top of this seat cleans up here. Oh wow, that looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, how many other channels are cleaning up cars with a goat, you know? I have a tough stuff. Yeah, here you go. Man, I can't believe how good a shape this is right here. Considering the floor so bad. What about the front of me? I don't really know if there's much right help here. for that. I, mean, I don't know if there's much help for that cloth part, really. I know, but the top is. Oh my gosh, look how dirty that is. Oh, yeah. Man, that really cleaned up nice, huh? Yeah. Mine did. Mine did too. Oh wow. Oh. Every bit of that's coming off. It's taking all that off there. Man, I took all the stains off that. It's really nice. I wish the other door panels were in that good of shape. Ralphie, that's where your speakers were back then. Yeah. Right in the middle up here. Well, I'm really surprised at how some of the seats actually came out. The tops of these front seats and the back seat, bottoms and stuff are really nice. That door panel's nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a rough car. I realize some of y'all are going to say, oh, it's not worth it. But, I mean, what's better? Scrapping it or trying to clean it back up, get it back on the road where some, you know, some kid that don't have the money for a nice one could drive one again you know that's really what i'm thinking with it but we're gonna uh go ahead and start up give it a little test drive around the yard again put some miles on her i'm really surprised too at, at how nice these inner aprons and stuff are they're really solid and the paint looks really good on them for for what this car's been through
You know, that's the same thing as brakes. Yep. Man, this thing spun the casings like crazy, didn't it? I can't believe it. It drives pretty good for a car with no brakes, though. You know? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Wawa? I like it. I would have let the kids drive, but it has no brakes. So, <laughs> hello. You know, can't really do that on this one. Rocky likes it. He probably would have went for a ride if I'd let him. Okay, you're going to get in it? All right, well, it's Rocky's car now. I feel like this was pretty successful, you know? Oh, a little bit. We gotta get brakes on this thing. We gotta get some new casings on it. And uh, we'll get this thing back on the road. That'll probably be our next video we'll do with it is getting that stuff done to it. Um, quit begging, Ellie. Remember guys, pour one out for your homies. It's the right thing to do, you know? Show a little respect. We also gotta get back to work on the 64 Dart wagon. I'm looking forward to that one too. It needs a cleanup, which it's dirtier than this car is. And it needs some brakes and casings and you know, other stuff like that too. A few patch panels here and there like this one does. But uh, anyway, you can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at oh, Sleeper Dude 88. Sleeper Dude 88. And you can check us out on our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. The number two, no spaces, all that stuff. If you look down below, you can see our merchandise. And as always, we appreciate you guys watching. Couldn't do it without you. And uh, Ralphie appreciates it. Wawa appreciates it. She loves her vainas. She can't live without them. She just don't like to do it on camera. That's the thing. Oh, Rocky wants one. We got to get back on the Galaxy Station Wagon. Uh, I got a Super Coop project video I've been working on for a while now. And... Uh, the Falcon, Futura, the, the Big Block Twin Turbo Fairmont. We got all kinds of stuff. So, the RV. So, stay tuned. All right, sip. Oh, man.
Superman and me arm wrestling competition. Who wins? Superman. Wawa? I guess you. That's why you're the favorite. Maybe one day I'll have a fast car again. What do you oh! think? <laughs> think I'll ever have a fast car again? Uh, will I ever get the Fairmont done? Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of projects around here. We got like, I don't know, 16 vehicles or something like that. We've got too many. Pretty sure it's like 18.